9-11 changed my life. That morning, I was at home, and the phone rang, and it was uh, Jonathan. And, uh, and he said, Dad, we're going to the World Trade Center. And I said, uh, OK, buddy, be careful. He said, OK, Dad. And that was the, uh, the last time I spoke to my son. My name is Lee Ielpi. I'm the uh, president uh, of the September 11 Families Association, co-founder of the 9-11 Tribute Center, where we are right now. Being raised on Long Island, Nassau County, it's an all-volunteer fire department. And so I joined the volunteers when I was turning 18, I think it was. I loved the challenge. I loved fighting fires. I loved helping people. Somewhere down the line, I realized that the New York City Fire Department uh, would be a great move. Uncle Sam decided to just give me a little bit of a tickle and said, maybe you should come into the military first. This was uh, during the Vietnam era. Um, I went off to Vietnam, it was late 68. Uh, we were sent to the 2nd of the 28th Infantry Battalion, 1st Division, uh, Recon. A group of guys that were the best of the best. Out of the 24 for the year uh, that I spent there, uh, uh, Twelve were killed. It's an honor to talk about the guys that, of course, are not coming home. The recon, I can't say enough about. We did what we were supposed to do. And isn't that the idea of the military? You have a mission, do it. I spent uh, seven years in, in 227 engine, which is Brownsville. We were able to bring our sons in and ride with us. Jonathan, my oldest boy, rode with us quite a bit. And it was a mindset for him. There is no question what I'm going to do. I'm going into the New York City Fire Department. That's it. On 9-11 that morning, we took off immediately to come into the city. My mission was still in place. You know, I'm going to help. But now the bigger part of my mission was, well, I want to make sure I find Jonathan. I went underneath of the uh, north overpass walkway, uh, which had already come down because the north tower had crushed it. And underneath of it were six fire trucks. Jonathan's firehouse sent 19 men. None of those 19 men went home that night. Uh, I met a lot of dads. They were looking, they were looking for their sons, their nephews, uh, their brothers. So the dads, we all worked together. It was September the 11th, three months to the day. Phone rang around 11.30. Hey, Lee, it's Paul. I said, hey, Paul. Uh, the minute he said that, I knew what was going to be coming. I said, what's up? He said, hey, Lee, we got John. So I said, ah, Paul, thanks. Okay, listen, I'll be right in. He said, okay. Jonathan was in a Stokes basket on the side with the flag over it. And you know what? Picking up that basket. It was heavy, and I felt good. Firemen were doing what we, what we did every time we found people. Everything would stop, all machinery would stop. The firemen, the engineers, operating engineers, the construction workers, the laborers, we'd all line up on, the, on this hill, and everybody would salute. So going up the hill, they're all saluting now. I'm turning and I'm looking at them, and I'm smiling at them. And I just kept giving them thumbs up. And you know what, they smiled back. Sad moment, but at least I felt that I, I gave them a little more of a, maybe an inspiration. I continued uh, working at the site. I couldn't leave the other dads. So the September 11th Families Association started. Our mission was simple. Keep an eye on the site, make sure we have the right amount of space to build a proper memorial, and uh, we did it. People have said, look what you've done. And I, I say to them, thank you. But do you know how many other family members and rescue workers have started scholarships, have started foundations, uh, are building homes for our wonderful military that are coming home, uh, maybe without legs. So look at all the good that has happened since 9-11. The good.